Hey everybody, I just wanted to come to you before the video starts and just ask for prayer for my son, his fiance and their family. Um, they have a little baby that's not quite two months old and a day before yesterday, which was Saturday, their home burned down and uh, it was electrical wiring problem and so here they are at the holidays. Um, they're living with us, but naturally they want their own place to live and all that. So if you would pray just that things come together and works out for the best of them, our family would sure appreciate it. So um, with that said, thank you for being here and watching my video and have a wonderful day. Hey y'all, uh, today I'm gonna be making a little brownie muffin dessert um, that would be real good for a holiday uh, gathering you're going to or something like that. It's really good any time of the year for any occasion. But I thought I would share it with you. So we will just go ahead and get started. And I'm going to be using these small uh, little muffin pans, and I want to pan, pan uh, these. And I want to use pretty much pan on them. Okay. And then I'm going to use this the um, Betty Crocker Supreme Fudge brownie mix and so I'm dropping everything over here so I'm gonna put in this uh, bag of the brownie mix and then I'm gonna put in an egg, and I forgot to get my egg, so hold on just one second. Okay, I've got my egg. I'm gonna put that in. I'm gonna put in a fourth of a cup of water here. And it uses a, a third of a cup of um, oil. So I'm gonna use a third of a cup of oil. And if this was in the way while I was putting that other stuff in, I apologize. Now, I'm going to mix with this, and this is, as you probably know, what you get your spaghetti up with. Once it's cooked, it makes it a lot easier, but I feel like when you have a batter that has an egg in it, I'm so scared that the egg will not, the yellow of the egg will not, um, burst and get mixed throughout it. So if I use this, it will burst the egg yolk and it mixes your batter real well, I think. So I'm just um, getting that mixed up. And you can use any kind of um, of the brownie mix that you want to. You don't have to use this fudge brownie. It's just the one that I thought looked good. So we have that mixed up. And it has this fudge that you're supposed to put in it once you put it in your um, 
your casserole dish or whatever. But what I'm gonna do is put this in this and not stir it up real well. And hopefully it will work out okay. I could put a little dab in each one of the muffins, but I just don't think that would work for me that well. So I'm getting that out. Okay. And I don't know if you can see it in there or not, but I'm just going to kind of mix it around just a little bit. Okay. Now I had two spoons here. Oh, I still do. They were on top of each other. They were hiding. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put um, um, this in my muffin pans and I want to do them about halfway full. And once I get these filled up halfway full, and some of them, I might have to take some of it out because it's too much and then it's gonna make the, the little browning muffin be too full. But once I get these done, then I'm just gonna stick them in the oven and I'm gonna let them cook about 20 minutes. So I'll go ahead and finish getting these filled up and I'll get them in the oven. And when they're done, I'll come back and we'll finish making our brownie muffins and hopefully it'll be a real good treat. So I'll see you back in a minute. The brownies finished cooking, so let's go ahead and finish up the, um, I'm gonna call them mint brownie muffins. So let's finish those up. And this is just one um, thing of them. So what you can do is take icing, put it in your microwave for about 40 to 50 seconds and it will become soft. Then you can take your cupcakes or whatever, dip it upside down and icing it and it will be very smooth and soft and all that. So once you get your little muffin iced, then we're gonna take a York peppermint patty and we're gonna put it on top. So you'll need to put your candy on as soon as you dip it or spread it with your chocolate. And then that is your little brownie um, muffin, mint brownie muffin. And you can use the mint uh, candy, Reese cups, um, Hershey Kisses, any kind of candy that you want to use. You could break up candy and sprinkle it on top, whatever you want to do. But that is it. It would be a good project for a child to do with you or... Um, just whatever you want to do. You can use white chocolate or um, dark chocolate if you want to uh, 
crumble up some chocolate on top or uh it's just real versatile just do whatever you want to do get creative put little holiday um candies on them so that is it i hope that you enjoyed the video and uh, i hope you'll make these and enjoy them so i will talk to you later bye bye